What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Rule Not Such. Today we're going to be talking about the Slamfire 12 gauge. And I've been getting a lot of questions about all of my different Slamfire 12 gauges. So I figured I'd just kind of cover it all in one video. So let's get this video started. This is the first 12 gauge we're going to talk about today. It's a Slamfire type gun of course. That means it has a barrel that is separate from the receiver. And there is a fixed firing pin and the back end here that sets off the round whenever you push the barrel to the rear. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, I've done a lot of videos on these and if you want to check them out you can. Um, one really cool thing about slam fires is that whenever you're shooting you can go ahead and shoot one. I'll show you a trick here. Alright, you shoot one round and then <laughs> the shot's just raining down. You stick, uh, we don't want to shoot buckshot. You stick another round in the front of the barrel, and then you go ahead and fire that. And it'll shoot the empty case out of the end of the barrel. So you don't even have to pull that thing out. It's pretty cool. So, see? All gone. Just keep doing that, you know? This is kind of a special 12 gauge. I'll talk about it a little bit. When I was down in Florida with Mark Serbu, they parkerized it for me and it, it's got this really sweet finish on it. So, really happy with it. It's a really, really cool gun. It's my favorite out of all my slam fires right now. But let's talk about a couple different slam fires that I've built also. This is a repeating 12 gauge slam fire. I've got a video out on it if you want to check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But basically it's a self-loading 12 gauge that is a slam fire that's fed from the hopper up here. It doesn't really work the best, but it does work. So check that video out if you want to see that. It's a pretty cool gun. It's really janky, but it works. This is another slam fire. It's a 12 gauge grappling hook gun and I've done a video on it also it was a really fun video I might make another one in the future but basically it's a little different it's got a bolted in breech block and it's just it's probably one of my safest and strongest slam fires and I had to make it really extra strong because I'm shooting like a three pound projectile but it shoots this grappling hook it's it's a really really fun gun to shoot and actually I mean we can shoot it now if you want to see it yeah, it's a little rusty, but at least I can pop around in there and show you. Can't shoot the grappling hook today because I have to actually make up specially loaded rounds for that. And I haven't made any yet, so maybe we'll just have to make another video for that. But yeah, this thing is rusty as all get out. I'll just shoot it off real quick. Oh, man. Look at that rust. I need to really clean this gun out. We might not be able to shoot this today. I don't know. Ugh. Well, that rust just came out of the barrel and blew in the face. <laughs> but yeah, this is a fun gun to shoot. Let's go ahead and shoot the other slam fire and just show you what it can do. Alright, let's see if we can get a little first person view of this. We'll shoot it at one of the targets down there. There we go. <laughs> All right, now let's see just how fast we can get off two shots at those shoot steel poppers behind me. All right, here we go. Beep. You can also shoot slugs and buckshot through these so we're going to go ahead and take a shot at about 20 yards at the red shoot steel target and just see how she patterns oh. so, that's just the water came flying back <laughs> let's go take a look at the target well it looks like we patterned pretty good those two shots were already there we hit right here in the top part of the target, so not bad for a homemade gun. It's pretty darn good. 
Another awesome thing about slam fires is since they have a pipe barrel, a three quarter inch pipe barrel, you can do things that you can't do with a factory gun. So you can do stuff like an inception shotgun round. Shout out to Matt B2099 and all his 2099ers out there. Because this stuff is just hecka cool. And by the way, that 20 gauge is loaded. I think we might want to just step back a little bit. Alright, let's step back. That's better. Alright, let's go for the middle shoot steel green target. That's pretty cool. And look at what it does to the 20 gauge shell. <laughs> That's awesome. I made a video on doing this like completely throughout the video and it's really cool video. You should check it out. Well, in conclusion, these are really, really fun guns to shoot. They are 100% legal. I've gotten pulled over with these in my car and they're all good. So, really fun guns, totally legal. They cost, oh, uh, this one cost me probably around $20 to make from the hardware store. So it's just really simple and fun gun. Uh, anyone can make them with, uh, you know, pretty basic tools. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see y'all next week.